This whole Aaron Rodgers and Jimmy Kimmel thing just hasn't gone away yet, and it's starting to grind my goat. <laughs> you mean grind your gears? <laughs> nope, I combine them. Oh, people say get my goat and grind my gears. I combine them. You're grinding goats. Starting to grind my goat a little what, bit. What bothers you about it the most? Is it because- Just the fact that, what, just because Jimmy Kimmel, who, again, is a radio guy, so I've always respected the guy. Always respected the fact that he was a K-Rock LA radio dude. Always appreciated his career. He's a funny guy, successful guy. I came up the ranks K-Rock New York, so I always admired that. So nothing against Jimmy Kimmel. I want to make that clear. But for this guy to say that he's a comedian, he could tell jokes. But Aaron Rodgers, because he's a football player, can't clap back, can't make a joke. And everyone's panties get in a bunch. And everyone's like, oh, Aaron Rodgers can't say that, even though he was joking. And now that Jimmy Kimmel... Won't let it go. He's demanding an apology. Like demanding an apology rubs me the wrong way. I, when listen. you say when you demand anything from me, it makes me want to do the opposite. Oh yeah, but if you want Cavino not to do something, demand he do it. So some people are cut from that cloth. Here's the update. The update is Jimmy Kimmel sort of went in on Aaron Rodgers during his monologue saying that Aaron Rodgers never apologized, sort of demanded a re- an apology. Now, Aaron Rodgers most recently said, well, look, I never insinuated that he's a pedophile. I never insinuated that. I just made a joke about that list that he said didn't exist. And now he's demanding an apology, and people are saying, well, Aaron Rodgers, just get this out of the way and apologize. Well, like, for what? To appease Jimmy Kimmel? Just so you Who's know. He? You got to bow to this guy? Just to confirm the latest, what you said, Jimmy Kimmel Live, Monday night, the late night host called on Aaron Rodgers to apologize since the star quarterback has absolutely declined. Because it has that like <laughs> kiss my ring sort of feel to it. You know what I mean? And I don't, I don't play by those yeah, but rules. It, I don't like it. It always gets, it always, wrong. Dude, it always gets political because it's, and then it turns into Jimmy Kimmel's the liberal media so and Aaron Rodgers guy, is the man only, of the people. Only and, you know, one guy can make jokes and, and. Don't tell me that Jimmy Kimmel, for a long ass time, wasn't always getting in on Aaron Rodgers, he's affecting late, he's his late, credibility. He, I was talking smack about him. Aaron Rodgers makes one little playful joke. It's still a joke, whether I, you like listen, it or not. It's still I don't, a joke. That's it's it's beyond a joke, though. Like it's considering what Jeffrey Epstein is like accused of and everything, to put him even that, close. That his that statement is, could be t- could have been taken two ways. It's beyond a joke. And to be honest, like you know, I don't see it that way. He's Kimmel's got enough people around him to tell him where the line is when he tells a joke about someone. Aaron Rodgers does not. Aaron Rodgers does not. And like the whole reason I think of demanding apologies because this think is what Aaron Rodgers, Rodgers does. comes across unlikable, and I think you're holding that against him in this situation. No, he was very so, likable until a couple of years, and they started doing exactly this, where he's like, Oh, I actually didn't say that. I think that's why he's demanding apologies. Yeah, he's like, Oh, I actually Rodgers, didn't I actually did. What Aaron apologize. Rodgers could have been referencing, could have been. I'm not saying he did, but could have been referencing was the fact that a list even exists to prove Jimmy Kimmel wrong. We've discussed this already. Yeah, but that's but not what people fact, thought though. It doesn't matter what people thought. No, it does. The he court of public opinion trumps everything in these a, cases. He's a pedophile, and that's his statement. I'm quoting now Aaron Rodgers. That's his statement today. I never insinuated that Jimmy Kimmel was a pedophile. Jimmy Kimmel is now demanding an apology. So would you apologize for something you didn't necessarily say publicly? Listen. you got to now crawl to this guy and there, apologize? There are times where Aaron Rodgers does seem a little tinfoil haddish, but there are times where Jimmy Kimmel seems like a crybaby liberal talk show guy. I don't, to be honest, I'm not, I'm, I'm not siding with either. I don't like the idea of like, I demand an apology, but at the same time, same. like, how could you, how could you, with a straight face, be like, dude, he insinuated Jimmy, like, there was an insinuation. He may have insinuated it, but it can have been taken two different ways, and he's publicly saying today, again, I'm just quoting him, mm. that's not what he was insinuating. He said that. So that's not even like my assumption. That's just what he's saying. So I just don't like the whole thing of now he's publicly sort of forcing this dude to, again, like kiss the ring or else I'm going to threaten you and take you to court. I just don't like the whole story. So yeah. your thoughts, but Fox I just Sports feel like Radio some, Nation. Sometimes you're Why the first would you guy, apologize hold on, dude, 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 to dude, make dude. things go well, away hold on. If, if in your heart of hearts you didn't do anything wrong? Here's a question. Your thoughts on the whole idea of demanding an apology 
Do you apologize for things sometimes when you're not even sorry? I feel like that's most relationships. Like, I'm sorry, but honey. That's, but you don't know why you're sorry. But oh, that's the honey, culture that's we different. live in today, and that's garbage. You get so many like disingenuous false apologies from people just to get this out of the way when you know they don't mean it, and we're okay with that. Aaron Rodgers is saying that's not what he meant. Whether or not that's what he meant, that's up in to interpretation. That's fine. But if Jimmy Kimmel is saying he's getting threats and his family's being harassed because of what he of what Aaron Rodgers said, there's nothing there for you. So it's what's so it's okay though for Jimmy Kimmel to make jokes at his expense. Jimmy Kimmel made jokes time. about like yo, he's unvaxed. About his he's making health, pedophile about jokes, his, dude. About, about his uh, again mental health, CTE. His, how you can compare his the two political stances? How you? I'm can not comparing the, the two. two. A I'm joke about a joke, a joke about a joke about. Oh, he must have got hit on the head. CTE. Not funny, but so wait. But, not, but but you're also now insinuating that everyone on this list is some sort of pedophile. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's not a list you want to be on. Yeah, but if it was the flight to the Epstein Islands, yeah, then it's very it's very so much so. Like that no, list. that's enough to cross the line to actual malice at that point. I, I don't know if that is worthy of a public apology just because Jimmy Kimmel demands one. Well, he's, you know he's put up a discoverable fact. Hey, Perfect. if you thought in your heart of hearts that you weren't doing anything malicious and you were just joking around, you're going to make a public apology to somebody? If there needs to be a way to get out from what's going to be a longer protracted fight that would impact my that's career what I, that's and my what money, I then I go, yes, Kavino, I would. If Aaron Rodgers is like, Not the me. choices are make, it, make an apology. If in my heart of hearts, I knew I didn't mean that. You're stubborn, what? dude. You get in your own way. You're going to fall Jimmy down. Kimmel? You're going to fall down and fall on the sword over a joke. No, I wouldn't make. I wouldn't make a dumb joke like Aaron Rodgers did. Oh, you know what? Hold your th- hold your thought. There's more to be discussed. Clearly, we'll take your feedback at eight seven seven nine nine on Fox. Disingenuous apologies. As my dad would say, Rich, kissing ass. Why you got to kiss? Jimmy Kimmel's ass. Uh, but uh, you know what? He's uh, he's the only guy allowed to make jokes. I'll tell you why. Next, and as of today, this whole Jimmy Kimmel Aaron Rodgers thing just doesn't go away. Aaron Rodgers says he never called Jimmy Kimmel a pedophile. That is the story. That is the headline. It's all over every major sports outlet. But Jimmy Kimmel's demanding an apology. So it's not necessarily even about who's right or wrong here. I actually agree with Rich. Who cares about either one of these dudes? Right? They're both uh, annoying. But but I feel like you annoying. are I right, I'm not saying you're certainly not playing dumb, but I feel like Aaron Rodgers is playing a little dumb in that like, what did I say that could offend them? I, I get you're saying there could be ways it could have been interpreted. Yeah. I'm but, just breaking but, it down. But linking Jimmy Kimmel's name, even if it's a joke, even if it's I didn't say he's on the list, anything Epstein related, you gotta stay away from. It's slander. Yeah, it's not, he's it's saying not a, it's not a list you wanna be on. We could all agree on that. Yeah. But again, Aaron Rodgers saying that's not what he meant and that's not what that- he said. So my question is, based on that, do you apologize? For things you're not sorry for. That's really what it comes down to. And if you want to chime in on Aaron Rodgers, that's fine too. It's, but this whole oh culture man. of I want an apology, a public apology, is sort of gross. They're always disingenuous. Hey, that's what I mean. Because they're forced. Like Honestly, what does Jimmy Kimmel really want? Does he want Aaron Rodgers to be like, hey everyone, Aaron Rodgers here. Uh when I'm not doing ayahuasca and getting back in shape for the Jets, I just uh, I'm just thinking about all the ways I'm sorry for Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> like, what is what do you want him to say? Do you want him what to do you want him to say? His joke, you know, you know, we we've often said too, context matters. You don't think he was being cheeky in that moment, so you're playing dumb, and you're going to tell me that Aaron Rodgers wasn't being cheeky in that moment. And then I'm so wondering, if you're going to playing dumb, everyone's going to play dumb, and and you're going to say that he was serious. But in that you know, you got to ask yourself too, Kevin. You got to ask yourself another question. This is a reflection of the trolls out there. What losers on social media hear Aaron Rodgers say that and then go at Jimmy Kimmel like, Hey, you pedophile! Like, it just shows that the worst of people. Twitter's the worst place on Garbage planet Earth. Garbage people everywhere. Garbage people. Twitter. Garbage behavior. And then again, like I said, it poses a bigger question. It could be in your own life. You know, your, your wife's mad at you for something you know you didn't do. And you know in your heart of hearts you're not wrong for. You're you've just ne- going to apologize you, you've to never, move on? You've never apologized I'm to move on? I'm not saying I've never done it. But imagine this on a public scale, a national scale, where you got to bow down to Jimmy Kimmel. I'm wondering what you would do. How do you handle it? Danny G, one time you were telling us you had to do a retraction on the radio like an apology for something you did. 
Well, you got to bring up old stuff. What you do? <laughs> uh, so I was, I think I was 21. It was the late 90s. I was running and doing morning shows, uh, the morning show for a big 50,000 watt hip hop station here in Southern California. And our competition locally was a station that played like office music. Um, and their program director, they, he also did morning shows for their station. He, he was in the local newspaper here in Southern California, bagging on our station, saying that our music sounded like sneakers in a dryer. He was that he's Sneakers like Sneakers in a dryer. You're your total old guy way to put down hip hop. Yeah, music. rap is crap. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, hey, and I'm glad you said that, Rich, because he was on a speaker on a microphone at this big downtown uh, art walk where both our radio stations were broadcasting live. And on his microphone and, and on these speakers to the general public, he was slandering our radio station, saying rap crap and sneakers in a dryer and all this stuff. Well, the vice president of programming heard about this and he talked with me and he said, hey, tomorrow morning, if you want, you can talk about what he did and what he said. And I said, all right, cool. So the following Monday morning, I get on the air and we kind of have this roundtable about how people still you know, are a little racist towards our music and what can we do moving forward to help the format. And then we talked about what he did in downtown here in Southern California and how it was wrong and he shouldn't be slandering music like that. And I told my co-host, I'm like, why don't we call him live on the air right now? So I called him. Oh, you, on can't, call, you, can't, you can't do that. <laughs> I called him on his request line and put his back to the wall and addressed what he said and he was stuttering and he was like very nervous and <laughs> yeah he, he did not react well to oh. what we did and he later claimed that he got th his family was threatened and oh. he was threatened and he they were taking phone calls all day long like our listeners bombarded his phone system you know calling him telling you know clowning him back so then later that day the vice president contacts me and he's like yeah, I think I made a mistake letting you go after him like that because we've heard from that company's attorneys and you're going to have to read a retraction on the air tomorrow Oh, morning. you had to pull a Shepard Smith. Yeah. That, which, by the way, is, I said, the best retraction of all time <laughs> is when Shepard Smith was on Fox News and he accidentally said a bad word. And he, uh, I'll, I'll, you could, you could sort of fill in the blank. He goes, <laughs> Jennifer Lopez, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, or a new song, Jenny from the Block. This is like 20 years ago. He's like, the people in the Bronx are more likely to give her a curb job than a block party. But he didn't say curb job. And he, he had the best, he, he finishes saying it, realizes what he said, and he followed it up with this. We're sorry about that slip up there. I have no idea how that happened, but it won't happen again. <laughs> Not sure what happened there. Won't happen. Won't again. happen again. Won't That's all you gotta again. say. Anytime you say something that you don't mean, just say. Not sure what happened there. Won't happen again. Yeah. So Aaron Rodgers in some hot water because. We're sorry of about this. that slip up there. <laughs> I have no idea how that happened. By the way, I made sure again. I made sure to read that retra retraction with no emotion. Yeah, you tell like you know like, when someone's uh, being held. You know when, you know when someone's a hostage and you know they're yes, a hostage because yes, they're reading it. Danny so, put so, on a southern <laughs> accent like I'm real sorry. Okay, so the public <laughs> doesn't forgive anybody until someone does what Danny G did. You read something that AI probably printed out for you anyway nowadays, and you read yeah. it with no emotion at all, and now everybody forgives you. Give me a break. Uh, well, we got to go to Monty for an update, but Danny G, real quick, who do we got on the phones? Uh, we'll take one quickie now. Who's that? Uh, let's see, Jimmy in Texas. Yo, what's up, Jimmy? Yo, what up, Yimmy? Yo, what's up, hermano? What is up, buddy? Hey, y'all, we're talking about tumblers. If anybody wants a tumbler that's worth it, go to shop. Dot Cavino and Rich dot com and you can get a tumbler, a pint glass, a hoodie, whatever you want. That is true. So, I love Jimmy, I'm not going to tell you no to that. That is true. Look, Spot's <laughs> using one right now. Look at that. <laughs> Cha-ching. Thank you, Jimmy. Love you, hey, buddy. Uh, hey, I was going to say on this deal with Aaron Rodgers, there's no way he should apologize. I mean, this is the reason why there's a saying that says education does not equal intelligence. I mean, it's three sentences. Jimmy Kimmel says Aaron Rodgers is a wacko because he thinks there's a list. McAfee says, did you hear there's a list coming out? Roger says, well, don't tell Jimmy There's about that. That's it. Because that context says he was only talking about the list and that he believes there is or is not one. And, that's what and I'm anybody saying. saying otherwise is out of context. That's what I'm saying. That's why this holds no weight anyway. I am not stupid. I understand <laughs> what Aaron Rodgers was insinuating, but it's not what he said. Dude, context doesn't matter on social media.
Hello, Monsi. How are you? Hi, Monsi. <laughs> Give us an update. What's going uh, on? Yeah, no, don't apologize. Uh, <laughs> <And> apology. <laughs> don't apologize. 